let's check this one out. Uh, you're at, you're, in the previous email you were saying about um, character being even nervous. Oh, I should read this. All right. Let's see here. So I was looking at your email, right? So we're talking about her being even nervous, jumping through the pool, and then she panics and darts her head around before realizing she's okay. Yeah, it's a tricky one because there is no beginning to that. You talk about the slipper as well here. Um, how to kick off her slippers before she runs, suggest motion, and just to make her, just to simplify and make her super excited. So the tricky thing is watching this, right? She just goes right away into it and she's, you know, seems pretty happy. Everything's great. Then it comes, she comes out. Then it gets confusing if you don't add anything at the beginning. Meaning, you know, there's just, we just see her come in. She's happy. Everything works out. So like she, we, we don't know if she can swim or not. If you're not supposed to swim or uh, jump in or not, you know, unless there's a big sign here that says no jumping. And then you have her kind of look left and right. So we're kind of maybe connecting that. Well, we should look left and right because it says no jumping, but then she jumps anyway because she loves jumping. And then she checks, ha, ah, they already see me. Good, no one saw me, yes. So that's the only problem. So right now we're just jumping in. And to me, as an audience, I'm going, what is she looking at? Who's she looking for? Really freaked out. And then, hmm, she's relieved, but why? And then it's on and so on. Um, other than that, like these are these are my acting questions here, just the performance questions, so that this makes a bit more sense. You know, you would have to add something a bit bigger, or she just goes out like that cut all of this and go straight into that right she maybe she comes she comes out doesn't look over she comes out and you go straight into that move head up leaning back and this so she's basically just overall super happy that could be something animation wise it feels like your timing here is a bit accelerated it feels like you want to go up hold this a bit longer and then come down because right now it feels like you're going up and straight down versus whoo, a little bit of a hole and zip down with better art <laughs> than my drawing but that just feels a bit too short and too accelerated to rush through here a longer hang time comes out same thing here you go up and then suddenly like i buy that you want to go up hold 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 and zip in just for zippiness and and you know, a kind of cartoon feel to it. But then that feels a bit weird where you come out and you kind of zips down again. I would keep that a bit more traditional and just come up and drop. Just a bit more, whoa. Just a bit slower on this drop here. If you want to keep this, it reads well in terms of, oh, what's going on? Oh, where is everybody? Like, it's one of those. But then again, you know, then you would have to add something here. But let's pretend we're cutting this. So you come out straight into that same thing here this feels a bit fast it also feels like you're zipping down <laughs> it's a funny expression here zipping down and then boom look at your spacing you get your nose here 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 and then bam it's in the same spot let me bring this back here right so you can see so it's, it's hitting a massive wall so you would have to if she goes like this you go and start going there versus yours is just doing this. So it feels like it hits solid concrete down there. So watch your spacing for that. And that it makes sense water wise. Also, you're gonna have to potentially swing these guys up a bit higher and potentially push the legs down so she feels like she's trying to get the forward momentum. It's a bit of a magical rotation forward and move forward so that comes a bit late i think you could try to you know like as she goes up here she's already pushing forward a bit higher to arm so that you have a, a bigger swing 
and then she does that a bit and that and then it's okay and you can push those legs in and then it's just overall it's a bit clunky in terms of how things move meaning it's very big like that beginning feels a feels better but it's just a bit harsh in how you go back and then suddenly stop and go forward so it feels like a first first or second rough pass in terms of movement spacing wise and also uh, posing wise like that gets a bit of a weird pose we could have a bit of a lower uh, shoulder and kind of offset that arm a bit offsets are good here but then it feels a bit too twins you know there's a tight offset there but it just feels still two twins and that it's almost like you're breaking a shoulder it just feels a bit much there so just some more appealing poses throughout but then this gets cut all this going into here so that just feels a bit clunky so it hits this in a harsh position there and it feels like arm chest and head are kind of one piece because all of it locked um the root is very locked you know there's the buoyancy up and down you can have a little bit of side rotation which feels very clean this feels like one ginormous unit, meaning it's like one piece rotating off of here. The whole thing just kind of moves versus kind of dragging a bit and getting a bit more detailed in the movements, spacing wise as well. Like the legs hit a very, very harsh frame here. It's like a one frame direction change. It's underwater, so it's going to be no pun intended. It's swimmy, just a bit more. Just overall stuff like that. It just feels a bit, a bit clunky. Same thing with that arm coming down and then suddenly stopping on a dime here. So it just feels actually rougher than that beginning here. The overall thing about this, it feels like you're suddenly getting into a cycle. And go, go, go. Where you could have some variation. It goes in here, comes back up. And then that's a bit slower. Gets into this. And then faster and faster. So she gets a bit more. There's a bit more contrast in the, in the movements here. Feels also a bit fast and poppy, like stuff like this, where that leg goes up really high, and it's probably a bit high as well. Maybe not go out as high, swimming wise. Like that seems a bit, a bit better distance wise. But work on your spacing, and an overall thing that this is going to screw you over. But just overall, it feels like it's completely in one axis, which it is. It seems like right, all straight, straight, continuing. I might as. Straight, straight in a straight line versus whatever you want to do here, acting wise. If you want to do something, but you know, the could be, I know it's a pain, but a little bit of an arc getting in there just it's a bit more organic, a bit messier, then that's fine being one, one axis. But then when she comes out, where is she? So she lands here ish, comes back there, comes out here. You know, it could be something where she lands. And then lands a bit more out on the side. I mean, you might argue, well, if that's her path, you don't really swim over. But it's just something, something that's a bit, a bit off, and also the rotation. So it's, she's not looking straight forward again in that straight axis. So she could come out, um, you know, a bit more to the side, and maybe overall globally rotate a bit more this way. And then when she does that, and uh, here it could be, you know, down maybe a bit more towards us again. And then as she starts swimming, maybe she changes direction or, you know, something where she does all this and then actually starts going this way. Because it's it's a massively huge pool, you can almost imagine. Well, it's longer this way than this way, so she could jump in and start swimming out this way. And then maybe, you know, starts going this way. I don't know, there's something where, to me, it would be a bit, I'd say messier, but just a bit more lifelike, more organic, not so computer where it's stuck within one axis because that's it's easy to animate along that path if that makes sense but it would change some things but you could potentially just have global uh translates right so uh, uh, control that moves the whole character and you just come up you know since it is floating around you could cheat off screen here and never come up this way and then potentially even try as you do this have a global offset where she starts changing the path or whatever it is right so whatever you want to do but that would be my overall a bit animation destroying note that it just feels simple in its one axis direction. Alrighty, that is about it. Thank you. Alright, 
there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.